Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about what to do if the control wizards don't start in your Microsoft Access database. This is going to be both a beginner and an expert video. We're going to talk about the simple beginner solution. And then if that doesn't work, we're going to talk about an expert solution or two to try to see what's going on. Today's question comes from Amelia in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, one of my Platinum members. She says, I'm watching your Microsoft Access Beginner Level 2 class, and I'm trying to follow along where you use the Combo Box Wizard and the Command Button Wizard, but neither one of them will start. I just get the control on the form, but that's it. What am I doing wrong? Well, Amelia, the simple solution is that you probably accidentally turned off the Control Wizards. Let me show you that. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can download off my website if you want to, but this applies to pretty much any database. If you go into Design View and you try to add a control like a command button to your form and nothing happens, you just get the button or you pick something else like uh, one of my favorites, the combo box wizard, right? You draw it out where you want it and nothing happens. You just get the empty control. Well, what probably happened was if you drop this down, Right down here, you'll see an option that says Use Control Wizards. You probably just accidentally turn that off. So just click on that. That'll turn it back on. If you drop it down again, you'll see there's a little box around it now, right? And now if I pick a Command button and click down here, and there it goes. The wizard starts up. See? That was easy, right? Now, that's the beginner solution. That's the simple solution. Let me cancel that. In fact, let me delete all this junk that I just put on here. Okay. Now, if you've done that and the wizards still don't start, something could be wrong with your database or even your installation of access, or it could just be a setting. Let me show you a few things. First, and the first thing you should always try is close your database and restart it. All right, just shut it down and then reopen it. If that doesn't work, restart Windows. Here, we'll start a little checklist, right? Restart your database first, shut down all instances of access. If you have to, go into make, in the task manager, make sure they're all shut down. OK, and then if that still doesn't fix it, restart Windows itself. Don't just do it. You know, don't just close your laptop lid and open it. Actually do a start restart Windows because it shuts everything down and starts up Windows fresh. OK, you tried both of those things and it still doesn't work. Make sure your ACC Wiz folder is in your trusted locations. What does that mean? Well, let's go take a look at where your trusted locations are. And if you don't know what a trusted location is, go watch this video. I'll put a link down below for you. So to find your trusted locations, go to File, and then Options, and then go to your Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and then Trusted Locations. I know it's buried pretty deep. Right down here, mine's down the bottom, it says Access Default Location Wizard Databases. Okay, and mine says C Program Files Microsoft Office Root Office 16 ACC Wiz. That's where the wizards are located. OK, and while you're in here, make sure this is not checked. This disable all trusted locations. All right. Make sure that's unchecked. All right. So make sure this guy is in there. If not, you can add it manually. Because this and this especially is true if you have installed over an old version of access, like you had access, you know, 2010, then you upgraded to 2013 then you upgraded to 2016 and so on. Sometimes these things don't update properly. That's why I always recommend before upgrading Microsoft Office or any other program, uninstall the old one first. Just wipe it, okay? And of course, that's another reason why I like the new Microsoft subscription because they send you constant updates and they're always making sure it's up to date and blah, blah, blah. All right, next on the list, still not working? Try a different database. Try a new database, right? You could have a corrupted database file. Still not working? All right, try reinstalling Office. Uninstall what you have, reinstall it again, fresh, brand new. And that, that, I mean, 99 times out of 100, that will fix it right there. And finally, if it's not something on this list, try my troubleshooter. I got a whole video on a bunch of different stuff you can try if access is acting weird and you can't figure out why. There it is right there. I'll put a link to that down below. But there you go. That's what you should try if your control wizards aren't starting. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. 
I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. 
you get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.